Imagine this. You step up to the counter at Dairy Queen, order your favorite blizzard, and just as the employee hands it over, they flip it upside down. Not a single drop spills. No mess. No catastrophe. Just a frozen treat holding its ground against the relentless pull of gravity. But have you ever wondered how did this oddly satisfying tradition begin? Buckle up, because we're diving into the history of the Dairy Queen Blizzard and the origins of the gravity-defying stunt that has fascinated customers for decades. To understand the flip, we first have to go back to the creation of the blizzard itself. Dairy Queen, the legendary ice cream chain that has been serving up frozen delights since 1940, didn't always have the blizzard on its menu. It wasn't until 1985 that this thick, spoonable, soft-serve dessert made its grand entrance into the world. Inspired by thick, mix-in-filled frozen treats sold at independent custard stands, Dairy Queen's Blizzard was designed to be unlike any other ice cream offering at the time. The key? A perfectly blended harmony of soft-serve ice cream and an array of mix-ins. Everything from Oreos to Butterfingers to Reese's Pieces. The result was a frozen dessert so thick and dense that it didn't behave like traditional ice cream. It refused to succumb to the forces of nature. It clung to the cup like a loyal companion. And it was this peculiar property that would eventually lead to one of the most recognizable fast food traditions, the flip. The upside down blizzard stunt has origins shrouded in a mix of legend and strategic branding. Some say it started as a dare among Dairy Queen employees, eager to impress customers by proving just how thick the blizzard really was. Others claim it was an accidental discovery. Perhaps an overconfident employee flipped a blizzard one day, realized it didn't budge, and decided to make it a thing. But the most widely accepted version of the story traces back to a franchisee in St. Louis, Missouri named Samuel Temperato. Temperato, a longtime Dairy Queen operator, was an entrepreneur with a flair for showmanship. He believed the blizzard was unlike any other frozen dessert on the market, and he wanted customers to see it for themselves. The reaction? Customers were equal parts amazed and terrified. Would it spill? Would they get free ice cream? But time and time again, the blizzard held its shape, defying gravity and proving its legendary consistency. Soon, the flip became a signature move, a Dairy Queen ritual. By the late 1980s, Dairy Queen executives realized that this little stunt was more than just a fun gimmick. It was a marketing gold mine. It made the blizzard memorable. And most importantly, it reinforced the product's unique selling point. Thickness you could trust. Dairy Queen Corporate embraced it. They made the upside down flip a standard practice across their locations. Employees were trained to confidently turn each blizzard upside down before handing it over, creating a moment of suspense for customers. And then Dairy Queen introduced a guarantee. If the blizzard ever fell out of the cup, the customer would get it for free. Of course, this wasn't much of a gamble. The blizzard was designed to stay put but the guarantee gave customers confidence and gave Dairy Queen even more 
reason to lean into its now iconic marketing strategy. So, what exactly keeps the blizzard from falling? The answer lies in a combination of chemistry, temperature and technique. Dairy Queen's soft serve contains a high level of milk fat and air, which, when blended with mix-ins, creates a dense, semi-solid consistency. The blizzard is also served at an optimal temperature, cold enough to stay firm but not so frozen that it becomes rock hard. When blended at the perfect speed and ratio, the result is a dessert that holds its shape even when inverted. And let's not forget the cup itself. The blizzard's container is designed to be wide at the top and slightly narrower toward the bottom, which helps keep the ice cream packed in. Add in the slight vacuum effect created when the cup is full, and you have a recipe for a flip-proof treat. Decades later, the upside-down blizzard flip remains one of Dairy Queen's most iconic traditions. And of course, there's the ever-present question. What happens if the blizzard actually falls? While rare, there have been instances where an overzealous flip or an improperly blended blizzard has resulted in an unfortunate ice cream disaster. But true to their word, Dairy Queen employees honor the free replacement policy with a smile and maybe a laugh. The blizzard flip is more than a gimmick. It's a moment. It's a piece of nostalgia. It's proof that sometimes the simplest marketing strategies are the most effective. By turning the blizzard upside down, Dairy Queen isn't just showcasing the science behind their product. They're engaging their customers in a fun, memorable experience. So the next time you step into a Dairy Queen, order a blizzard and watch as the employee confidently flips it before handing it over. Remember, you're not just witnessing a frozen dessert being served. You're witnessing decades of history, ingenuity and a little bit of magic. And that, my friend, is why Dairy Queen's blizzards don't fall out of the cup. Now, go enjoy your blizzard. Just don't try flipping it yourself. If you want to learn more about interesting food history, don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.